We're going to need to remember the alcohol elimination reactions, right? Uh, yes, the dehydration of alcohols. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we do a dehydration of a secondary alcohol? Sure. Acid catalyzed dehydration. Coming right up. So it's safe to assume with uh, most elimination reactions, you're going to be applying heat. Yes, especially okay. alcohols. Won't work at all without the heat. Quite a bit of heat, too. Right. I know uh, different uh, reaction pathways, like I believe, I think it's SN1 mm -hmm. or uh, E1 requires the most heat. Yes. Uh, uh, sorry, E. Well, it depends. It depends on how stable your cations are, too. There's, there's other factors. But the fact is, you do have to start by protonating the alcohol. I know. That's the first step in all these alcohol reactions, protonation yeah, of the alcohol. Right. If you're not reacting it with a proton, you were reacting it with a, some kind of Lewis acid that's a very positive atom similar to a proton. And like, is, uh, SO, is SOCl2 a Lewis acid and PBR3? Yes, that sulfurs and PBr3, that phosphorus, very, uh, they love electrons they, because they got all those electronegative atoms attached. Okay, you saying that makes a lot of sense because I know the uh, alcohol in most of these reactions is the first one to like act usually. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed it'll attack the, uh, usually the SLCl2 and the right. PBr3. Right. But okay, those so have, just... the, the only re alcohols don't typically like to react. Those are really reactive things that you just mentioned. Like HOTS is really mm -hmm. reactive. PBR3 is even more reactive. SOCl2 is about the same reactivity as, as PBR3. Those are incredibly reactive molecules. So in this one, I would go to the cation. And you're saying, well, secondary, I didn't know I was going to go uh, E1 or E2. Uh, how do I know? Well, isn't this a strong acid here? Very strong. And don't we call H's on strong acids protons? Yes. Doesn't that make this a protic environment that this molecule finds itself in? Yeah, a lot and of hydrogen bonds. Yes. And in protic environments, we tend to go towards carbocations, don't we? Remember when we're talking solvents, we said a protic solvent will cause carbocations. Similar story here, even though we're not even talking about the solvent, we're talking about the catalyst. But anyway, carbocation is our is our guy, and both products are going to come from the same carbocation. And here we have an alpha H or beta H. Sorry, can't I got to remember which alpha I'm using? It's the one that says uh, the leaving group was on the alpha carbon, and any carbon one away from that was called the beta carbon. Remember those? Mm -hmm. It was early on when we did alphas and betas. And what's going to take those green H's to make our products? The uh, conjugate base of that strong Correct. acid. Correct. So TSO minus and TSO minus. And so that, uh, that one symbol, it's like the equal sign with like the three bars. That just means alternate like pathway it, i guess yes it's a identical cation doing a different thing an alternate pathway like you said i do need um, to see okay. you draw it twice because you can't say it did this thing you can't have two arrows thing. you can't you can't yeah. go two different places <laughs> you got you can only go one direction right yeah i believe uh i watched one of your videos and you made a good you were very emphatic I made sure of that yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it is, it's important because i had a I had some students one semester and they got, clearly they were studying together and they knew what they were doing, but they had the, the same base doing like three different things. <laughs> you, you, you can't. So something had to be said. I noticed when you were, uh, especially in lab, when you mentioned condensation reactions and how it's uh, two larger molecules coming together and then expelling mm -hmm. a smaller molecule such as water, Correct. I'm taking intro to bio right now and they keep calling it dehydration. I'm like, they, sh they should I'm, be adding the word synthesis at the end. If they don't, they then do. They, they call it, they call right. it that. Yeah. It uh, just, you want, you might want to remind them though. Hey, the dehydration parts at the end. Why did you guys name it backwards? 
Yeah, right whenever I'm typing like my dehydration. answer, I always write in uh, parentheses condensation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The biology people do not like that word. I do not know why. It's a dis good descriptive word. It is what it is. <laughs> it is okay. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Whitaker. It's probably best I get going and get ready for my next meeting. That's good. I'm, I'm probably going to get, I think I'm going to make three segments out of this. Uh, this is a good one right here. And I uh, thank you for your good questions. And I will see you next week. I mean, literally, I'm, I'm going I'm to see you. It's, <laughs> I'm actually very happy about that, seeing people again. <laughs> All right. Granted, we get to go back on the 25th, right? Yeah. With the governor's order and all that. Yeah, she's. I, I think she spoke for the last time she's going to speak until probably March. So I think that's it. We're good. Thank. Okay, thank God. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I'll see you next week then. If not, I'll, I'll talk to you before then. Excellent. All right, Devin, okay, take care you. of yourself. Have a great weekend. All right, bye.